have a special treat for you guys for waiting so patiently while we try to get the 12 days of Princess Toy Nerd off the road. What did you say, so Susie? I don't care what you do. I just want to do my tea and token Thursdays without any interruptions. So, uh, and you can do that so I feel to you. Come on, Susie. Where is your Christmas spirit? Hmm? Come on, you know what Christmas is about, us being together. So, uh, just like in this new skit we're gonna do. So, shall we get going? I hope so, because if we don't get going now, it won't be a skit. Which is fine, because I wanted to stay home anyway. Alright guys, get ready for the skit. Now, uh, we're finally here in a skit. Now, when is this blasted movie gonna start? Mm. Be patient, Susie. We're just waiting to get through the previews. You know, like movies that haven't come out in theaters yet. Uh, like, do you hear they're going to do an Artemis Fowl movie? Like, it's about time. Yeah, great, dude. It's about time Artemis Fowl was made into a movie. Hopefully we can finally get rid of that whiny, two-faced Harry Potter. Yeah. And, <laughs> I can't wait to see Captain Marvel. I'm like, I'm sure that movie's going to be great. I'm like, excuse me, Thanos needs to be dealt with. And, like, in a very, very, very painful way. Uh, he just needs to get punched in the face. Like, because, well, he's a real jerk. Ugh! Still can't get over what happened to Stan Lee. I'm like, I was just looking forward to seeing that old man give Thanos a taste of his own medicine. Ugh. I hope that Captain Marvel shows up and gives Thanos the old one-two punch because he really, really deserves it. I mean, come on, man. There's supposed to be a new Spider-Man movie coming out next summer and uh, they can't do anything until Thanos is dealt with. Ugh, sick of that guy. You and me both, dude. Oh, I cannot stand that Thanos. Oh, he makes Joffrey look like a harmless kitten. Oh, I just wish I could just touch him to fish. But I can't because oh, I'm a toy. And I bet you that you've never watched those, those videos of us singing the Toy Avengers theme song. Where we promise to advance our favorite Avengers and... Make sure that everybody who ever messed with them die! And that means Thanos. Oh, I can't help but think about other superheroes who could probably take Thanos out. Like, say, Superman. I mean, he's powerful. He, he's from Krypton. And I'm pretty sure he would gladly punch Thanos in the face. Well, I'm kind of more partial to Wonder Woman. I mean... If she does a punch in the face, she can tie him up with her last little truth and make him reveal the truth about why he did what he did. And, and then, of course, after he does that, she'll punch him in the face. So, Aquaman would probably punch him in the face. <gasps> if he was underwater. <laughs> well, why not the Teen Titans? I'm pretty sure any of them would love to punch Thanos in the face. Like, Cyborg? <laughs> He's practically machinery, so he would probably punch Thanos in the face. After Shuri gives him an upgrade on his <laughs> robot suit. Guys, come on. Girlfriend's gotta upgrade the dude before he goes up against Thanos. What about we get Deadpool to kill Thanos? <laughs> like, come on. It would be so much funny if Deadpool was narrating himself killing Thanos. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to know who I think should punch Thanos in the face? Uh, I, I, <laughs> somebody's got to punch him in the face. Like, ooh, who do you think should punch him in the face? 
I mean, Venom is a symbiote, and uh, I'm, I'm sure he'll probably gladly bite Thanos' head off. I mean, it may not be pretty, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to see that happen. Y'all have Ant-Man, like, shrink down really tiny, go inside Thanos' ear, and then when he gets there, it gets really big, and... Dude, please don't do that. I mean, come on. This is a family show. Little kids are watching this, okay? <gasps> Why the tail would you say something like that? Oh, come on now. Everybody's been hoping for that for a while. <laughs> Why don't we have Loki show up out of nowhere and he came and then I was like, oh, I thought I could just like, yeah, I came back and guess what? I bought some friends and uh, and then guess what? He got the Grandmaster, Valkyrie, the Collector, Howard the Doc, and that is thoroughly screwed. I mean, oh, let's even throw Hela in the, into the crazy castle. So, please, he's kind of obsessed with Lady Death and uh, if Hela were Lady Death, she probably wouldn't want to have anything to do with him. Huh. Uh, that's a very nice theory, Susie. But I can't help but wonder if they're going to go do the comic book route. I mean, after all, Nebula has every right to punch Thanos in the face because he took away the one thing that she really wanted in this whole wide world. I mean, galaxy. I mean, universe. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, like, did we forget? Nebula said to Komara, Heck, you just wanted to win, and all I wanted was a sister. I hope that Nebula teams up with Captain Marvel and they take battles down. That would be something worth watching in the theaters. Like, come on, Marvel, step it up. We want to see Spider-Man's new movie and all the other movies. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let, 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 let's, let's get this show on the road. Oh, I'm sure that somehow Captain Marvel will be giving Thanos the biggest blow to the head that he deserves. And we will cheer when Thanos is good and dead. The Toy Avengers and we will not stop fighting until Thanos is dead. I don't care who we have to fight next, I just want Thanos gone. Okay, bye bye Thanos. And, uh, don't let the door hit you on the way out of this universe. Excuse me, could you mind keeping it down in front, okay? I'm trying to get ready to watch the movie. Sorry about that, Joe, but hey, we're getting ready for the movie. I mean, what movie are we watching? Well, I don't care what it is, but that Aquaman movie had better be good. Because <sighs> if it's not... Up theater, everybody! Attention, everyone. Due to increasingly high demand, the movie you have selected will not be shown today. Oh, oh, come on! What have we done to deserve this? Ah! That is great. What movie will we be watching now that we can't go see Aquaman? Well, I'm sure I'm a little parcel to Once Upon a Deadpool. I mean, come on. At least it's the clean version for kids to watch. Well, I don't have much of a problem with Once Upon a Deadpool. I mean, come on, Deadpool is funny. And besides, what's the worst that could happen? Hmm? Attention, everyone. The movie you will all be watching instead is... Mm, oh, yeah! Frozen! Have fun! Ah! I hate Frozen! Ah! A deal to you, Mr. Theater Guy! You will pay for this! Ah! Thank you all for watching this little skit. I mean, I know it's not as Christmassy as everybody else's videos, but hey, it's spending time with your family and friends. I mean, what could be better than being with your family and friends, hmm? 
Well, it doesn't matter because I'm still mad that we had to watch Frozen. Ah, can't they just let it go already? I mean, I wouldn't mind us watching Wreck-It Ralph or The Grinch movie, the one with Benedict Cumberbatch, but Frozen, ah, that's a little too overdone. Ah. Don't worry, Susie. I'm sure they'll get it right tomorrow so we can watch Aquaman. And to the rest of you guys, Merry Christmas. And we'll be back tomorrow with the fourth video in the 12 Days of Princess Toy Nerd. Bye! Meow!